So when performing the deadlift and thinking about how we want to increase weight and mobility, it's really important that we're working on engaging and strengthening as well as stabilizing our posterior chain. So I'm going to show you a series of banded exercises that you can do, which is really important to strengthening your glute med, which is heavily involved with stabilizing your pelvis, helps you stay neutral when you get into that deadlift position, so you stay neutral the whole way up and prevents you from having that knee valgus, your knees caving in. Banded exercises help you with your glutes, your hamstrings, as well as your abductors and adductors on the insides of your thighs to help keep your knees tracking over your toes in that neutral position rather than concaving in. So the first exercise that we're going to go over is the banded clamshell. So the band is gonna start right directly above your knees. You're gonna come down. Legs are gonna be at approximately 90 degrees and you're only gonna go up until your mobility allows. We don't wanna be rolling with your hips. You don't wanna come up because that defeats the purpose. Even if you can only go a little bit of ways, that's okay. Just getting until we have tension and then we're gonna hold it there for approximately five, five, six seconds, come down and keep doing that. Then obviously rotate to the other side. Next exercise that we're going to go over is the banded fire hydrant. So you're gonna come on all fours and you're just going to lift your leg as high as you can, keeping your knee and ankle in alignment. Same thing as the banded clamshell. We don't want to be rotating our hips. We're just coming up until mobility allows, until we feel it in our adductors, in our glutes, in our hamstrings. Slowly come back down. Last one that we're going to go over is a three-way glute stretch. This one especially focuses on getting your pelvis in neutral alignment as well as working to strengthen your glute medius. So the three-way um, glute exercise, gonna come out to the side, come out diagonally, and then to the back. Notice how the whole time, if you have to put your hands here to make sure you have that pelvic tilt, just to make sure that you're engaged, that's okay. I usually keep my hands here just to make sure that I'm not rocking and as well as keeping your rib cage tucked under, core engaged and coming out.